continuing with the equally area criteria for the the stability studies in this session we will see what is the effect of sudden change in the mechanical load on a synchronous motor how there is a change in the load angle what about the, the rotor speed that we will see now the following passages explain the, the operation of a synchronous motor that is this effect what is the sudden change in the mechanical load that is on a synchronous motor so be very careful about this this is a synchronous motor on the synchronous motor the mechanical load is nothing but it is the output of the synchronous motor that is a mechanical power output okay that is what you are calling is ps whereas the input to the synchronous motor is p using equal area criteria when the sudden increase in the mechanical load on the motor occurs that is the previously before there is a change in the load there is a input that is a p that is a electrical input and the mechanical output ps they are matching each other neglecting the losses here now if there is sudden change in the mechanical load then the what are the consequences of this sudden change in the mechanical load on a synchronous motor the following points are to be noted with regard to change in the torque angle whenever there is a disturbance occurs that is the first thing with respect to the the torque angle is that there is no change in the torque angle when there is a perfect balance between the the input and the output so that in that case also there is no change in the the speed that is when the system is balanced angle delta is not changing at the same time the speed is also the same that is the synchronous speed therefore there is no change in the torque angle when the speed of the motor is synchronous speed that is speed of the machine is a synchronous speed only when there is a perfect match between the input and the output plus the losses in the system means there is no change in the current in the case of if the speed of the machine is synchronous speed the second the angle increases the angle delta increases that is we know that we are increasing the mechanical output keeping the input constant to meet the extra increase in the load of the synchronous motor our electrical input to the machine should be increased that is the electrical input to the machine should be increased so that that is the the internal voltage e is a constant v is a constant then the reactance is also constant therefore angle delta has to be increased so that ev by x into sin delta that is equal to the the new value of ps that is a new value of ps therefore the angle increases in the case of motor if ps is greater than p ps is greater than p that is mechanical output is greater than electrical input therefore the mechanical output is more than input and the speed goes down because momentarily whenever there is a increase in the output compared to its input then the momentarily the speed of the machine is come down that is it is goes down then in the other way the angle decreases the angle decreases in the case of if you have suddenly taken off the load from the the system instead of increasing and taking off the load from the synchronous motor in this in that case the mechanical power output which is less than the electrical input in that case there is a acceleration means the speed of the machine is increasing beyond the synchronous speed and the delta angle delta will be decreasing therefore the angle decreases if the speed is more than the, the synchronous speed some of the conditions caused by the sudden increase in the mechanical load on the synchronous motor connected to infinite bus can be predicted by analyzing the, the next figure that is in the next the slide with keeping all these three points in mind then we will analyze if the synchronous motor is a uh, synchronous machine is connected to the infinite bus in that case then what is the consequences of when there is change in the load condition or there is a change in the input condition that we will study now <coughs> now i am considering here a system consisting of a generator 
which is connected to the synchronous motor through a transmission line having reactants of xl whereas the reactants of the, the generator is xg and the reactance of the, the motor is xm we know that the electrical power output that is nothing but the electrical input to the, the synchronous motor output of the generator is equal to the input of the, the motor so what is the output of the motor the output of the motor is given by output of the motor is given uh, output of the generator is given by that is the p that is p is equal to it is ez into em divided by the total reactance that is xg plus xl plus xm into sin delta so many watts this is the the electrical power output of the generator it is nothing but the input to the motor input to the the motor input to the motor okay that we will see the what are the, the things in the case of there is change in the load condition okay the sinusoidal curve p is plotted of the electrical power input to the motor input to the motor you can very carefully uh, to read power input to the, the motor that is given by ez em divided by xt sin delta where xt is the total reactance that is sum of xz plus xl plus xm now i have got a, the power angle curve here that is the electrical power input to the motor input to the motor i have drawn the it is a the power angle curve for the the input to the the synchronous motor that is given by p is equal to p max sin delta that is this whole term that is ez em divided by xt that is what you are calling is the the maximum power therefore it is represented by p max then previously the machine is operating at point a the machine is operating at point a at that case both your the mechanical output and the electrical input both are equal therefore motor is operating at a stable point a at this point the speed of the machine is the synchronous speed and the angle is not changing that is delta naught now there is a sudden change in the output from this value to this that is p naught to ps in that case your mechanical power output increases whereas your electrical power is still p n naught your mechanical output is changed to p s whereas your the electrical input is still p naught so that to make it balance that is your p naught should be increased so that it has to reach at this point it has to reach at this point at this point both electrical input and the mechanical output they are equal then what happens we will see here that is means the operating point has to shift a to b means the angle delta has to change from delta naught to that is new value of delta here but when there is a sudden change the angle is goes on changing here but it is not stop changing at this point but still it is goes on moving it is increasing because of inertia because of the, the inertia then from a to b from a to b your electrical input is less than the mechanical power output therefore there is a deceleration therefore from a to b from a to b a to b the speed is goes on decreasing goes a to b the speed is decreasing the angle delta is increasing delta angle is increasing now the point is not settled immediately at b but it is moving to the point c it is moving to the the point c why it is moving to the point c because i told you because of the inertia delta is goes on increasing i will write here at a 
at A, both PS and PE are equal, are equal. Therefore, the speed is NS, speed is NS and delta is not changing, no change in the angle delta. Then, when the mechanical power output is increased suddenly to the PS value, PS value, then what happens here? From A to B, from A to B, your the PS is greater than PE, therefore, there is a deceleration means speed is decreasing, speed is decreasing and the delta is increased, delta is increased. At point B, I am explaining with the help of a chart, just at point B, it is PS is equal to PE, but the speed which is less because previously it is operating at 15 and RPM, synchronous speed. Now, because of increase in the output, therefore, speed is dropped to 150. Now, what happens here? Because of the inertia, delta is goes on increasing beyond B. The delta is goes on increasing. From when go to B to C, B to C, here your P is greater than PS. Therefore, there is an acceleration. There is an acceleration. Therefore, the speed is now here onwards from B onwards it is goes on increasing. It is increasing. Ultimately, when it is reaches point C, the speed is become 1500 because here it is 1450, it is slowly decreasing to 15, 1450. Here on, onwards it is goes on increasing, ultimately it is reaching at 1500 RPM. At that instant of time, delta stop changing. Therefore, this is a one cycle. Then, what happens? When it is reaches at point C, it is a 1500 RPM. But at point C, at point C, your PE is greater than PS. P is greater than PS. Therefore, what happens here? N is increasing. The speed is increasing. Delta has to be decreased. Therefore, slowly once again, delta start moving in the reverse direction. It is reverse direction. Okay. Once again, it is not stopping at point B because of the inertia. It is still moving in this direction. Then, it is reaching at this point. We can call it is A dash. A dash. Then the same cycle repeats. Once again it is moving to the B. Then it is moved to the next C dash. That is less than that. Because there is a damping torque. It is the oscillations goes on decreasing. Means what I mean here is. That is because of the, the damping torque in the machine. Then whatever there is oscillation which is moving from A to B, A to B, then it is once again, it is moving to A dash here, A dash, C dash, which is a lesser swing. There afterwards, next cycle, there is A double dash, C double dash, then ultimately, lastly, it is settling down to at point B, where once again, PS is equal to P. Once again, PS is equal to P. Therefore, it is settling down to new value. But it is not settling immediately, but it is swinging. That is what you are calling is swing equation or we are talking about a swing equation. Okay. Therefore, to get a stable point uh, at point B as early as possible, your synchronizing torque or the, the damping torque should be the uh, plays an important rule to settle to the new equilibrium portion at point the P. Therefore, we will see the, the with the help of a table, we will see the what are the events they are happening during uh, from A to B, B to C, C to B, B to A, all these things. <coughs> Therefore, the system is stable only because it is stopping at point C. This is what you are calling is decelerating area that is A1. Then the A2 is the accelerating area. Accelerating area if it is equal to the decelerating area is equal to the accelerating area. If both are equal then the system is stable. So that it is settling finally at point 
the B. Okay, now you can see here. Here at point A, the speed is o, omega is equal to omega n. That is, the speed is singular speed. N is equal to n s. You can call n is equal to n s. The delta corresponding to point A is delta naught. Delta naught. Then suddenly there is an increase in the output to the PS. That therefore, what I am writing here is the PE is less than PS. Because the input is less compared to its output, therefore there is a deceleration. There is a deceleration takes place. Then, because of the deceleration, the angle delta has to be increased, speed is decreasing, and the operating point will move from A to slowly towards B. It is moving A to B. Therefore, point A to B, the speed is goes on decreasing. That is omega is less than omega n because it is a decelerating. Because of the decelerating, so that you have to adjust a new angle delta so that electrical input is equal to the mechanical increased output so that the delta is increasing. Still, between A to B, our power input to the machine is still less between A to B. Therefore, still there is a deceleration when it is moving from A to B. Okay. Once it uh, reaches the point B, in that case, the omega, that is the speed is very less because it is 1500 rpm at this point, it is goes on decreasing and there is a minimum speed you are getting at point B. But the thing is that the delta is equal to delta S. At this point, the value of your delta, what I am getting here is the delta S. That is corresponding to this, there is a the new value of angle, the delta S. Delta S. And still it is increasing because I told you because of the inertia. Because of the inertia. At point B, we have what P is equal to PS. We have what P is equal to the PS. That is the at point B. At point B, when it is moving from A to B, the speed is minimum. Speed is minimum. But at point B, P is equal to PS. But corresponding to B, the value of angle is delta S. Delta S. Then, I told you that it is because of the inertia, the angle delta is still goes on increasing beyond B. Therefore, it is B to C. When it is moving from B to C, there is an acceleration now. Because B onwards, your electrical input is more than the mechanical, the output. Therefore, what happens here? There is an increase in the speed. Here it is a minimum speed. It is increasing and it is attaining the singular speed when it is reaches the point C. The same thing is written. That is point B to C. Omega is less than omega n. But the, the data is increasing because of the inertia. P is greater than P S. There is an acceleration. When at point B, I told you, the speed is becomes signal speed, then the delta is equal to delta n. At this po particular point, your value of your uh, the angle is what I am calling is delta n. This is your the delta n. Delta n corresponding to this, that is delta s. Okay. Now, at point C, both the speed is the singular speed, delta is maximum delta m. Here the electrical power input still greater than PS. Therefore, there is an acceleration occurs, then slowly it is the angle delta is goes on decreasing. Therefore, it is moving from C to B. Therefore, the speed is still it is increasing beyond 1500 rpm. When it is moving from C to B, then at delta it is decreasing. It is decreasing and because of the inversing, uh, inertia, once again it is moving beyond the B, but P is less than PS. Still it is the acceleration from C to B. At point B, once again, the speed is greater than the synchronous speed. Because at C it is attaining 1500, when it is moving from C to B, the speed is goes on increasing beyond synchronous speed. Therefore, it is maximum and delta is.